The Boeing 787 Dreamliner and the 777 have long been icons of modern aviation, representing some of the industry's most advanced engineering achievements. But recently, both aircraft received urgent directives following a series of worrying incidents. So what exactly is happening with Boeing's jets, and how serious is the situation? Let's find out. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was once praised as a symbol of innovation, an aircraft built from advanced composite materials and equipped with electronics more sophisticated than any commercial jet before it. It embodied Boeing's ambition, a fuel-efficient, durable, lighter aircraft operating on a new generation of technology instead of traditional hydraulic systems. Yet behind the image of a flying dream lies a series of complex technical issues significant enough to force the Federal Aviation Administration to repeatedly issue mandatory airworthiness directives. These directives are stark warnings that the Dreamliner is facing latent risks that could lead to disaster if ignored. Among these issues, the most serious involves the Mode Control Panel MCP, a small device that plays an exceptionally critical role. The MCP functions like the aircraft's secondary brain for automated navigation. It allows pilots to select altitude speed autopilot modes, all with just a few inputs. However, airlines have recently reported repeated incidents indicating that the MCP can change the selected altitude on its own without waiting for pilot command. How dangerous is this? Imagine cruising in level flight when the automated system suddenly commands the aircraft to climb or descend without the pilot ever requesting it. In a crowded air traffic control environment, even a minor deviation can create a collision risk. And worst of all, this malfunction has already occurred on commercial passenger flights. Engineers conducted an in-depth investigation and discovered that the fault originated from a complex chain software glitches gaps in circuitry hardware defects and even irregularities in the encoders of the control knobs. These issues were concentrated in certain batches of MCP units manufactured by Honeywell. As a result, the FAA had to propose a new airworthiness directive requiring airlines to follow Boeing's service bulletin and replace all defective control panels within the MCP. A total of 165 Dreamliners in the United States are affected, and the replacement cost is estimated at 405,000 USD per aircraft, a massive figure even though part of it may be covered under warranty. However, compared to the risk of an aircraft unexpectedly climbing or descending due to erroneous automated commands that cost, is still a small price to pay. Parallel to the MCP issue, another alarming incident involved the pilot seat moving on its own, something that might seem like a minor glitch, but in fact led to a latum aircraft suddenly plunging, injuring dozens of passengers. The cause is that a small switch cap behind the pilot seat had popped off or been installed incorrectly, sending erroneous signals to the control system. Even a slight nudge could make the seat slide forward, causing the pilot to unintentionally push the control column. This is no longer a matter of seat comfort. It is a direct hazard capable of altering the aircraft's trajectory in an instant. The FAA immediately issued an emergency AD requiring airlines to inspect all pilot seat switches, tighten and secure them, and replace any components that could trigger unintended control inputs. But the problems didn't stop there. A recent airworthiness directive surprised the entire industry passenger oxygen supply tubes were found to be kinked. In a depressurization event, the delivery of oxygen is a matter of survival every second counts. Yet some PSU units, the panels that house the oxygen masks, had been installed incorrectly causing the oxygen tubes to bend and restricting proper oxygen flow. If a depressurization incident were to occur, some passengers might not receive oxygen in time. This is a scenario no one wants to witness. For that reason, the FAA ordered an immediate inspection of all affected PSU assemblies and strictly prohibited the installation of any faulty components. Another issue worrying airlines is the structural quality of the forward pressure bulkhead FPB, the component that separates the pressurized cabin from the unpressurized nose section. This is the aircraft's life-saving wall, keeping the cabin sealed and capable of withstanding significant pressure differences at cruising altitude. However, reports from the production line showed that in some cases the FPB had been installed incorrectly, creating excessive gaps. These gaps can trap foreign objects, accumulate moisture, cause corrosion, and eventually lead to fatigue cracks over time. A weakened pressure bulkhead can result in sudden depressurization and extremely dangerous situation. The FAA has required airlines to conduct inspections on both the interior and exterior sides of the FPB to ensure no defects remain. And that's not all the Dreamliner also faces issues related to heat. The engine anti-ice EAI system has shown cases where seals weakened at the connection points of the hot air ducts. When these seals degrade, hot air can leak out and burn or damage the surrounding composite components. 
If the damage progresses, the engine inlet could weaken and separate from the aircraft during flight, a scenario experts consider extremely serious, as debris could strike the wing or fuselage and trigger a chain reaction of failures. If you think everything ends here, you're wrong. The FAA also had to address an issue that seemed minor, but carried unexpectedly serious consequences, water leaks in the lavatory. Water from the faucet control module FCM can leak and flow into compartments containing electronic equipment. If only one FCM leaks, the impact may be manageable. But if several of them leak at once, the accumulated water could damage critical electronic systems affecting essential flight functions. The FAA has mandated regular inspections and replacement of any FCM showing signs of leakage to prevent electrical shorts or system failures. Most of the issues mentioned above, whether major or minor, lead to the same conclusion. No matter how modern the 787 fleet is, it still carries complex risks that require continuous monitoring. Advanced electronic systems, ultralight composite materials, and sophisticated control technologies all have their downsides. They demand stricter technical inspection procedures, close coordination between Boeing suppliers and operators, and above all, vigilant oversight by the FAA. From the MCP causing unintended altitude changes, pilot seats moving on their own kinked oxygen tubes, misinstalled pressure bulkheads, weakened engine anti-ice systems to water leaks, all of these illustrate a simple truth. Operating a modern fleet is far from simple. Every fault, no matter how small, has the potential to become the starting point of an unpredictable chain of risks. FAA airworthiness directives are not designed to make things difficult for Boeing or airlines. They are the ultimate protective shield, a mechanism to ensure that every Dreamliner that takes off is in a completely safe condition. Airlines are compelled to act quickly, inspecting, replacing, repairing, and updating. All of this ensures that when passengers board a 787, they fly on an aircraft that is reliable, robust, and safe, just as originally intended. The Dreamliner is a complex and advanced technological product and it is precisely this complexity that requires the FAA to oversee every small detail. Only when these directives are fully complied with can the 787 continue to hold its position as one of the most advanced and safest aircraft in the sky. Similarly, the Boeing 777 has long been a cornerstone of international aviation. Renowned for its durability and reliability, this wide-body aircraft was once seen as a symbol of safety in the skies. Yet even giants like the 777 are not immune to technical challenges, especially as fleets age and accumulate extensive flight hours. Recent serious incidents have forced the Federal Aviation Administration to issue continual airworthiness directives to protect passengers and crews while maintaining the reputation of one of the world's most successful aircraft families. One of the most recent warnings involves the 777's wheel wells. A severe fire caused by an overheated AC motor pump ACMP raised alarms across the commercial aviation industry. Subsequent investigation revealed that the root cause was missing seals and lock nuts in the electrical load controller. This deficiency caused excessive two-phase current to reach the pump overheating it, leaking hydraulic fluid and ultimately triggering a fire. The FAA immediately issued an AD requiring airlines to replace the ACMP with a modified version featuring thermally weak links to prevent overheating. Approximately 340 777 aircraft in the U.S. are affected, and all operators must act swiftly to comply. Beyond the wheel well incident, another serious issue involves the engines and cowlings, particularly on aircraft equipped with Pratt & Whitney PW4000 engines. The most notable event was the engine failure on United Flight 328 in 2021, when a fan blade fractured and the engine cowling was ripped off falling into a residential area. Although no one was injured on the flight, the incident led the FAA to temporarily ground 777s with PW4000 engines and issue a mandatory AD requiring ultrasonic inspection of the fan blades to ensure no similar risk remained. At the same time, the FAA has been continuously monitoring fire and explosion risks within fuel tanks, including the potential for electrical arcing from lightning strikes or internal electrical faults. These ADs require the installation and inspection of protective measures to ensure that fuel tanks do not become a potential source of ignition. Accuracy in the flight control system is also a top concern. The FAA has issued ADs related to pitch control actuators and the horizontal stabilizer trim control unit. Suppose these components suffer from corrosion or low reliability. In that case, they can cause errors in the pitch control system directly affecting the aircraft's ability to maintain longitudinal stability, a critical factor especially during operations requiring high precision such as takeoff and landing in adverse weather. 
Beyond mechanical and electronic systems, aging aircraft structures also require strict oversight. An important AD focuses on fatigue cracks in the crown skin, particularly near window areas. If not detected and reinforced in time, these cracks can propagate leading to sudden cabin depressurization or more significant structural failure. Consequently, the FAA mandates inspections using X-rays or other non-destructive methods to detect and address issues early, ensuring the aircraft's skin maintains structural integrity. Overall, the scope of AD for the 777 is not only intended to prevent past incidents, but also to strengthen overall safety covering flight control systems, engines, fuel tanks, pressurized structures, and small yet critical mechanical components. The FAA and Boeing work closely to ensure that all inspection replacement and repair procedures are carried out rigorously. This not only helps maintain airworthiness certification, but also protects the global aviation network from potential failures that could escalate into disasters. Fleet aging poses a continual challenge. The 777 was designed for long-term service, but over time components wear down mechanical connections, weaken, and electronic systems may be affected by prolonged operation. For this reason, the FAA does not merely issue AD in response to incidents. It proactively monitors vulnerable components, applies advanced inspection methods, and ensures that the fleet maintains the highest levels of safety. These ADs may require significant time and expense from airlines, but compared to the risks of fires, engine explosions, or sudden depressurization, such measures are unavoidable. More importantly, they reflect the aviation industry's commitment every detail, no matter how small, can determine the safety of hundreds of people on a flight. In summary, the Boeing 777, despite its reputation for durability and status as a pillar of international aviation, remains under strict FAA oversight. Recent ADs not only address issues that have caused serious incidents such as wheel well fires or engine failures, but also focus on maintaining structural integrity, electronic and mechanical safety, ensuring that the 340 aircraft fleet in the U.S. operates reliably and consistently. Once a model of American aerospace engineering and a symbol of reliability, the series of urgent airworthiness directives targeting flagship aircraft like the 787 Dreamliner and 777 has dealt a heavy and lasting blow to Boeing's reputation. The issue extends beyond isolated malfunctions. It reveals a troubling pattern in quality control and system integrity throughout the company's entire production process. The need to replace critical components in large numbers such as the MCP or landing gear pumps, combined with serious structural and software failures like the 248-day electrical outage or fuselage fatigue cracks, has eroded Boeing's image from a symbol of reliability to a brand associated with latent risks and recurring safety issues. For the public and airlines alike, these incidents have heightened doubts about the true safety of the aircraft. As a result, Boeing faces unprecedented scrutiny from the FAA, undermining global confidence in its engineering quality and indirectly putting significant pressure on the stock market and new aircraft sales contracts.